So I did a long uh, self-indulgent list of all the things that I've learned, life lessons that I've learned in my 37 years of existence. I turned 37 years, years old yesterday. And the first one is my thoughts uh, shape, become, and create my reality. And I just wanted to do a quick video on that whole concept because I think sometimes people misconstrue that idea or that sentence to mean that if I just think happy thoughts, like everything's kosher and everything's amazing. And of course, that's obviously not the case. Uh, and that can be problematic, a problematic concept in and of itself. And that's not really what I mean with it when I say things like that. Um, it doesn't even really start with thoughts. It starts with awareness and becoming aware of what we're thinking on a regular, consistent, sometimes daily, sometimes hourly basis. Awareness, self-awareness is massive. It can solve a lot of problems. Um, and that's the thing, a lot of times, especially busy adults uh, in this country, uh, we tend to do things automatically, we tend to be in autopilot mode a lot of the time, and we're just not totally consciously aware of all the things that are happening to us and within us. And so uh, I think it starts with awareness, becoming aware and taking stock and auditing what it is that we're thinking on a regular consistent basis and then asking ourselves the question is this true is it useful is it serving me is it propelling me forward is it holding me back is it sabotaging me is it keeping me in the dark is it a lie um or is it just completely fabricated and uh blown out of proportion or exaggerated these are the questions that really lend to being Self, more self-aware and uh, this is where we can really change our lives for the better because we can once we become aware of something then we have the opportunity to become intentional in changing it if we want to now if we discover something about ourselves that we like we don't necessarily have to change it or we don't necessarily have to constantly improve the things that are, are within us or what's going on but um, it's important to take stock and audit our thoughts because we may be thinking things that simply aren't true or are sabotaging us, aren't really helping us or moving us forward, moving the needle forward. And they might be thoughts that uh, we, we or originated back when we were kids. Um, maybe somebody made fun of us or something and we've been holding onto that for years or even decades, never taking the time to question if it's even true or if it's useful or if it's even, you know, if everything, a lot of times when it comes to stuff like that, it's all subjective. So if somebody makes fun of me when I'm 10, uh, it, it shouldn't have anything to do with my life uh, when I'm 30 or 37 for that matter. And I think that's what happens to a lot of people. We tend to just sort of identify with our thoughts. We identify with the things that have happened to us and we don't have to. We can start identifying with other things. We can start shaping and molding our identity as we see fit. And that is true of our thoughts as well. So it starts with self-awareness, but then we have the... the in, the ability to be intentional with our lives, to be as intentional and as self-aware as possible, to change our thoughts for the better. So if something isn't serving us and it's not even true, then we should probably change it. We should probably try to mold it into something that is useful, something that does help us, something that is closer resembling the actual truth, your own truth that is the empowering truth that you can cultivate over time as being an adult. and and you do that enough times, you can radically change your life for the better. So that's what I mean, and that's why I decided to make a video about it. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I know these times we're, we're often alone with our thoughts because people are more isolated now than ever because of COVID. And still, in the first quarter of 2021, we still feel isolated. So um, we have to examine our thoughts, and we have to ask ourselves those questions because then our life can really... Uh, become something that we can take ownership on and cultivate for the better. All right. Have a great day. Bye.